Hi, my name is Paul Bouchier from the Dallas Personal Robotics Group. We've got a group down there that are very excited about ROS. I'm a hobbyist and uh, there's a class of robot controllers that was not addressed in uh, Morgan's talk this morning. Smaller than Smallbot, but bigger than what he called Microbot. I've got an example of one here. But there's several uh, things like Chumbi, things like routers that have USB ports on them. This is a VEX Pro controller. I've used them all. Their, uh, their characteristics are they're low cost, physically small, they run Linux, which says a lot about the power of things that you can do with them, uh, typically an ARM9 controller, typically with uh, 16 megs of flash, 32 megs of RAM, so that says a lot about what you can't do with them. Um, can't load a full raw stack and those kinds of things. Um, but the USB enables cameras, USB to serial, which you can hook up to an Arduino for sensors and the like. Um, and they have enough horsepower for reactive control and, and uh, vision capture. So um, what we want to do is connect them into ROS. So we have an idea of implementing an, Ar um, an Arduino library on them is one approach and using ROS serial. So I've ported about half of the base Arduino environment to the VEX Pro controller here. Um, and, uh, and the idea is, the idea there is that a good bit of the Arduino community code ought to um, run like and the like. Uh, the second approach that we're, that we're playing with is this, this controller is actually based on a previous product called ROS Quirk. And uh, I'm sorry, called the Quirk controller. And there's a module in ROS called ROS Quirk, which we're trying to get trying to get working on um, on the controller. So they've got a URL for the for the subversion um, source for this code. Um, and uh, we welcome comments, uh, considerations, things we should keep in mind for this class of uh, of embedded controllers. And uh, I thought I'd bring this in because, uh, so full disclosure here, um, Vex Robotics is a sponsor of the Dallas Personal Robotics Group. But I brought it in because I thought it might be interesting to you guys because it is aimed at the, at the university and research market. It does give you Linux um, and has uh, some decent power, I.O. going directly onto the board. And I thought the reason it might be interesting to you guys is it would integrate with sensors that you can buy off the shelf and metal and such as I've done here, which reduces the overhead of um, getting your double E's and your ME's involved in making your motors and sensors and electronics and all that work to just plug it together. So uh, that's where we're going trying to uh, trying to get rock integrated with this class of embedded Linux controller. Thank you.